Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. I want to do a little bit of follow-up of the last video in that uh, I've taken this apart and um, this is what I got. But before I go there, one of the things I want to mention is I think this is a newer uh, up-air model. And one of the things that was a little bit different in disassembly was I had to take out, obviously, the... Um, two screws inside here which are Phillips head and then obviously four on each motor um, and then I had to take out the ones on the lights but also instead of having them in the hole or at least that's what I understood from some of the videos I watched it was the inner, si inner side ones um, inside the landing legs I take out so you notice that there's uh, going to actually be a short and a long one uh, Actually, I took I took the landing legs off altogether because one of the things to get enough movement on the case, I had to um, actually pop out some of the antennas, which are actually held in there with double-sided stick tape in that. So I think I'm going to rework some of this stuff. Uh, but again, I wanted to show that disassembly. But then I wanted to show this piece here. So uh, with the way it looks, is this is a larger connector than the one I have, or the one that goes to the gimbal. So here's the one that goes to the gimbal. You can see it's it's smaller. So this looks like it has four more pins. Um, and then what it does is go goes red, black, 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 you know, uh, well actually it looks like one space. And then it looks like one space, two blacks, two spaces, two reds is what this seems to go. So uh, I haven't been able to get in there to really see the board, what the board does. So I'm going to see if I can't take a little bit of a look and, and share that with you guys. But uh, uh, I'm going to go see about uh, how I want to try to try to reassemble this piece or see if I can fix this harness. So uh, let me go do that and I'll come back and share that with you guys. Okay, I've went off and uh, done some work now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some overlays as I'm uh, talking here. Uh, I did some close-up stills of this as I went through it. So, again, I, I've reassembled it to match um, the wire output, you know, going obviously from uh, right to left. And what I did is I put some tape over the opening and used hot glue to kind of um, bind the side together. Now, the way it looks is this, this particular uh, connector actually goes directly to the transmitter and so there are three pins here so obviously you know two are power uh, one is signal and this is obviously the transmitter for the uh, uh, unit so for the FPV uh, component so there's this other one because remember I showed three connectors on this so we had these two and then the big one which broke and now this one appears to come from the control board um, that has the GPS. So I think this is where the uh, signal actually comes from uh, for the uh, on-screen display. And it's combined with the video output of this to create the um, uh, on-screen display. Now, I don't know if this creates its own signal out so I'm, I don't know if I can if, if I connected these two would I get just a blank screen with the overlay data on it I don't know probably be an interesting experiment for the future because this the inside of this is seems to be wholly different than um, the other up here is because one of the things that you see here the motors are directly connected to the uh, motherboard if you will at a control board uh, the ESC's or whatever they're called there, there's none in here as I've seen in other copters in this section there there were those uh, controllers for the brushless motor this doesn't have it the actual uh, controllers for the brushless motor are actually on the motherboard itself uh, in here so again this appears to be wholly different also I'll put an overlay on the screen uh, of the um, the serial connector if you will this does not have a USB connector inside of it it does however have what looks like a serial connector of some sorts uh, sort of like uh, what the Nano Arduino has so I don't know if this is controllable in that fashion or it's just a, a USB wannabe I, I'm not sure about that but it is wholly different from what I've seen uh, elsewhere on the internet so this is quite a big difference um, 
the other piece though is I've been doing this I actually wrote up here and said hey look at um, I have this problem you know where do I get one of these cables and they said mm, well the only place you get it from is China how about we ship you one and I, man I tell you what I thought that was great so we'll see if it actually comes now they're going on Chinese holiday so they won't be able to ship it until after February 6th um, which isn't too far in the future and probably will be after you see this video so I know we'll just have to see what happens and uh, hopefully they're good on their word and they send it that would be great and I'll keep you guys posted and I mentioned to them that uh, I'm going to talk about this on the YouTube channel because this is uh, this would be very interesting if they're that supportive of their product that's pretty cool um, but that does change the hackability I think a little bit of this um, so I, I look forward to getting that uh, because I would like to change out the camera and gimbal and again, um, I'm thinking that the intention of this cable is primarily to provide power. Why you would do it like this, I'm really not sure. Um, but it is what it is, I guess. So, because because I'm thinking that, uh, you know, since there's three lines coming out, that you have, um, what it's doing is, is a power for power for the motors and power for the camera you know one two three uh, and that there's some kind of logic because obviously something has to come from the controller board down to tell the gimbal the orientation and I'm making the assumption that these two guys over here are that logic and then these two are just the motor power where is the camera getting the power maybe it's uh, borrowing it from the motors uh, but why would you run two motor separate motor leads unless because of the current draw? I don't know. I'm just simply speculating. If you have any ideas, let me know below, of course. Uh, be very interested here. Or if you've actually experimented with any of this, let me know below. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reassemble this. And uh, I'm hoping it worked. And so I'll come back with the finished product. Well, here we are back. So bad news. I guessed wrong. So... Uh, I went and just kind of halfway reassembled it and plugged this back in and I got a puff of um, magic smoke. So the magic smoke left the box. I can't quite figure out what popped in here um, because one of the things too, as I mentioned, uh, they're uh, what ECSs or whatever, usually it's a little controller that sits between the motor and the control board. This is actually built on the control board. so. Uh, in this version of the Up Air 2, the motors are wired directly to the board, so you actually have to unsolder this to get the motors to come out. Um, so that's rather interesting that, uh, you know, so I can't really easily get this board up and take a look at the underside of it, you know, say for flipping it around. Quite a bit of smoke did come out of here when I did that, so um, it came out from the underside of the board, so I'm not really sure if... You know, the gimbal was damaged too in this or uh, whatever, but, uh, uh, or how much anything was. So, again, for 300 bucks, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Got parts, uh, which is actually a good thing. So, I may just order another one. I may try to troubleshoot this one. I don't know yet, but I figured I'd let you guys know. I want to share the good, the ugly, and the bad with you guys. And this is the ugly. So, uh, it's the reality of it. So, I'm going to still see if, uh, up there ships me a new uh, cable I mean I think that would be great if they did that's great customer service and so I'll keep you posted in the next video on this one cheers